Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome to another Theater of War Let's Play. This time, we are actually playing Theater of War 3, uh, which takes takes place in Korea. Uh, we are, of course, the Americans fighting against the People's Republic of Korea, uh, and it should be interesting. Now, I have played only Theater of War at this point. I don't know what to expect. Um, I do, however, know that um, up here... There are definitely trenches, which means that there's probably going to be enemies. Uh, I'm going to try to move my guys up this hill. I hope it's a good idea. Uh, and I'm going to keep most of my mortars back here uh, to sort of keep watch. I also want to take one of these choppers and just use him as sort of reconnaissance. So we're going to go ahead and fly out. And apparently we need some sort of point to get this. So I'm not too familiar with this aspect of the game. But I hope we'll get used to it, right? We have no other choice. Come on, boys. Get into combat. I believe everybody's got an M1 Garand. Is that a correct assumption? So let's go ahead and uh, just send this guy flying over this little DPRK village uh, and make sure I don't have too much uh, to, to, to fight against. I don't know. We might. Um, I think I might also send some guys up here because there is a hill, a natural sort of mountain here. And if we take the high ground, I think that's probably going to put us in a pretty good position. So let's let's shoot for the high ground when we hit this village. Here we go. I don't expect this chopper to necessarily survive. Reminding me of MASH almost. Of course, as you know, MASH also takes place in the great nation of Korea. Here we go. And uh, actually, I already see some enemy troops over there, actually. Uh, let's send some guys to engage. Yes, Definitely some enemy troops right there. Yes, Good shooting, guys. That was just like a nice little sniper shot. Um, and I still want my guys to get up here, and, and hopefully they can climb the hill to get where I'm trying to get them to go. Um, eventually we'll find out how to get those points, because I'd love to call in some air support. As you can see, we've got a lot of AT guns over here, and uh, that's not going to be good uh, when it comes to our tanks. So I'm going to send some infantry this way. <clears throat> Hopefully we can engage uh, the AT guns, but there we go. Already we're under fire. There's a lot of different stuff over here that could take us out. Mortars even. Wow. Unbelievable. So we've got mortars. Now we also happen to have mortars. Uh, where are they? Let's take a look. And I'm pretty sure I know how to use them, so I think the first thing I want to do... First of all, I didn't want to land there. No! We can go ahead and open fire on that position um, and just make sure that we take out the enemy mortar so they don't trouble us as much. I hope this is good enough. Yep, sure enough, they're setting up. And I might not actually fire all of these at that one point, so I'm actually going to take one of them and uh, try to hit this AT gun if I can. Here we go. At least we'll be hitting the center of this town. Let the Koreans know that they're going to have a nasty fight ahead of them. Okay. Definitely want to get some infantry up on that hill, too. Nice! Did we just take... We took something out. I don't know what it was. gunfire going on here. And sure enough, wow, I did not notice this, guys. We're coming up on a Korean trench. I did not notice at all. This thing just kind of popped up out of nowhere. Come on, boys. Shoot! Don't stop shooting. Shit. Alright, we need to get in there. Let's go. Yes, sir. Get in there now. This actually looks like an AT gun firing at us. This is just the enemy infantry units, which I don't think it is. We are returning fire. Yes, sir. Go. I like how in this game you can actually see the body and where the damage is uh, on the body. That's pretty awesome. And actually, there's an AT gun out here. I'm pretty sure he's causing a lot of damage. So let's see if we can open fire on him. Let's get out there. Let's see what our guys are doing up here on the hill. If they even managed to get up the hill. Nope, I was worried that they wouldn't be able to, and sure enough, it doesn't look like they can. I'm going to try one more yes, time, just to get on the sandy road there. But it looks like they're going to have to go all the way around. Alright, fair enough. At least we're getting in the trench now. Come on, boys. Yes, sir. 
shit. Get these guys over here. So far, a lot tougher than the, uh, the last Theater of War game that I was playing. That better be the sound of dying North Koreans. Let's take a look up here. Alright, well, our mortars are definitely firing in this direction. That's one bonus. Uh, and we still got our tanks. So I'm going to send our tanks in over here. Hopefully they can deal with all of these crazy trenches, because I can't. Absolutely a pain. Come on, boys, move in. In fact, I'm going to keep the machine gunner here, uh, as well as one of these riflemen. I'll keep the sniper, too. Come on, keep that fire up. You've got a bar. What are you doing? Oh, damn it. So we're definitely going to have to go into the uh, town this way through the trenches. And uh, I feel like if we could just get a foothold here in the trenches, we'll be all right. Um, we are in them now, but we've got a lot ahead of us. There we go. Finally opening fire. That's what I like to see. And is he opening fire with that bar? Yes, he is. That's what we need to see. And slowly but surely, we're going to work down the enemy. I do hope we're getting reinforcements for this battle, though. Because already we've lost quite a number of troops. Um, and a lot of incoming fire is, is doing a lot of damage. Right, here we go. I'm going to take actually the sniper unit and try to put it over here. I'd like to take out the AT guns if possible. Definitely going to be a risk because the enemy could certainly have uh, some units in this location. But we're going to try to make it to the other trench with this guy. Come on. With this squad, I should say. Wow. Yes, sir. All right, those mortars are still coming down. I'm going to send this squad to the trench as well. And I think the uh, tank is going to be right behind them. And sure enough, there it is. We've got two tanks. We've got to speed right past the enemy. I don't care if there's AT guns. It's, our, it's really our only hope at this point, um, because we're getting mown down. And here we go. Looks like our men are definitely trying to fight the enemy here. Yes, sir. Not having a great job at it, I don't, I don't think. There we go. At least now they're dropping mortars on their own men. Get him! Get him! Reynolds! definitely got us there. Got to get into that trench immediately. And at this point, it does look like they're firing on their own men. Unless those are our mortars, which they definitely could be. In fact, speaking of our mortars, let's grab these guys. We do still have a few more infantry over there, so we don't want to lose complete hope yet. Um, but I might fire the mortars over here, so let me go ahead and actually drop them back here. definitely took out this unit over in this section, but of course, the most important thing for me is to get rid of that mortar fire. That thing is really irritating. Uh, let's also target this AT gun. Spot it yet. Come on, guys. There we go. That's a mortar. I don't know if it's the trees that are not allowing us to see. It probably is. But uh, we're definitely getting into this trench now. And the North Koreans do not like it. Boom! Yes! More grenades, guys, more grenades. As you can see, these are DPRK troops right here. Get them, Tank, get them. Yes! Good shooting. All right, at this point, our tank is just trying to get as many kills as possible. Of course, getting that AT gun is a major, major uh, piece of strategic importance here. We cannot hit the target. And I want to get the rest of our guys in this trench, too. Come on, boys. Like World War One, but with modern weaponry. All right, here we go. Action station. I'm gonna continue moving towards the AT gun. I know it seems crazy. It's almost like a, uh, you know, a bit of cavalry charging a pike line, but we really don't have much of a choice. There we go. Come on. I'm gonna get this guy out here. He's a commander. Actually, let's keep him right here. 
so far we're doing all right. Now, our main objective is that town up above us. Don't forget we did bombard it pretty well, uh, but that doesn't make much of a difference. Now, I am going to charge out with these guys. The reason being, uh, I see that the enemy has some mortars here, and I want to kill the damn mortars. So, come on, guys. Kill that thing. With everything you have, direct your attention at that mortar team. Nice shooting. There we go. One down. We could actually take over that mortar, I believe. We're going to try to do that. Let's move up. Station. Very, very, very cool. All right, nice for this guy. I'm going to send him into town, but we got to be careful. We also have the mortar support guys that um, we've been waiting for. Uh, but I'm not going to use it until we start attacking the actual town itself. And let's see if we can finish off this North Korean troop without losing anybody. Come yes, on, boys. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where did he go? Maybe he's on the other side of the trench. Yes, sir. Here. Is that possible? I have no idea. That's very strange and a little unnerving. Um, anyway, I'm going to take two of these guys. We'll go ahead and man this uh, mortar. It does look like we're taking fire from this location over here. It might be an enemy sniper. Actually, it's just an enemy infantry squad. They're definitely taking cover. I don't know if these are the guys that actually ran away. Um, they might be. But we are taking over this mortar, and hopefully we can go ahead and engage them using their own mortar. Wouldn't that be awesome? Let's see if it works. Never tried it in a North Korean mortar before. Right, let's go ahead and... Might actually be a little too close. Yeah, I think it's too close. Funny idea, nonetheless. Maybe not. Look at that. They are aiming towards them. Are they going to shoot the North Korean mortar? Come on. This would be hilarious. Fire. Look at the steal enemy resources. There we go. They are going to fire. Boom. Okay, guys. DPRK mortar against DPRK. And that's amazing. Those guys were definitely not trying not to get shot. Um, but we'll keep firing. Of course, I'm not going to waste our mortar shot yet. Um, and I will bring the rest of our guys up. We've got quite a lot of infantry up there already, but look at all the reserves we have back here. So we're going to bring these guys up uh, to sort of fill up the trenches. I'm sure that the enemy is going to have a few more guys in these trenches. It looks like we've got two enemies here that just surrendered to us. Uh, so North Korean enemies we can question later. But uh, we've got to be careful approaching this sector. And in all honesty, I think I'd rather wait for the, uh, the ground attack aircraft. But it's a considerable amount of points there. Alright, this guy can stop shooting. Relax, guy. This just means we have one extra mortar guy, which is pretty awesome. And uh, I'll go ahead and grab this mortar with these two soldiers as well. And there we go. That's a nasty little shot for a mortar. Anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying uh, this uh, look into Theater of War 3, Korea. And uh, if you like it, make sure to leave a like down below, a comment, and uh, just let me know what you think. Thanks so much, guys. Take care. And have an awesome, awesome day.